All right, for note number eight, we have a rule of triangles that we're trying to use here. If you have a triangle, not a right triangle now, but just a regular triangle, and you know two sides of the triangle and they're asking you for what the third side is, you cannot use Pythagoras theorem because it's not a right triangle. So what you can use is a rule that allows you to say, if you know these two sides, this third side, I'm going to write two parentheses, draw a line here and draw a line here. This third side is essentially um, the sum of these two, which is 12 plus 17, okay, sum of it, and the difference of these two, which is 17 minus 12. So this is a 5, and this is a um, 30, uh, no, no, so 29, no, 29. All right, so those are those two. Now, what is this 5 and 29 representing? Well, those these represent the outer boundaries of what this third side could possibly be. Now, am I saying it starts at 5 and 29? No, those are the outer boundaries, meaning this third side could be a 6, it could be 7, it could be 8, all the way to 28. It's just one of those triangle rules you want to know. The third side is between, between the difference and the sum, the difference and the sum um, of the other two lengths. This is a major triangle rule you need to remember. Now, this question is asking for what are all the possible perimeters? Well, we know a perimeter is the sum of all the sides. Well, the perimeter here is not going to be one number. It's going to actually be a range, meaning your smallest perimeter, your perimeter will range, your perimeter will range pretty much to start perimeter. Your perimeter will range on the low side from you adding 12 plus 17 plus the smallest number here, which is 6. And it will go as far as 12 plus 17 plus 28, which is the largest number here. And if you do that, you're going to get a range that ranges from 35. No, that ranges from 35, 35, all the way to 57. If you added these numbers up and added these numbers up, um, is what you're going to get. So 35 through 57. Now, if you look at the answer key, you know, um, and we have square boxes, so we pick all that apply. The only ones that will work would be C and D that will work because they're the only ones that would be in that range 40, which is in this range of 35 to 57, and 57 itself. So C and D will work. So that's pretty much what we have. That's the answer. The answer is C and D. But you have to use this rule um, that allows you to figure out what the third side is. And perimeter means the sum of all sides, so it would be 17. What we did here is 12 plus 17 plus the smallest value and 12 plus 17 plus the largest value to give you kind of a range of numbers. So it's going to range from 35 all the way to 57. And you pick the answers that meet that in the answer key for number eight. So the answer here is C and D.